Hello everybody and welcome back to Lost Souls. Now, today I would like to carry on with my preparations. All what I did last time is really preparations for the next, for the treasure hunt, or the maze, I believe. There's a maze at the where we got to the end of the treasure hunt. So, what I did first, we've been improving the weapons, but we could actually do some more of that. Bob the Big Bat suggests I replace some paper in the um, shuriken, but I haven't got any paper, with some superior ingots or something like that, so maybe we'd do that. I'd also like to upgrade the um, uh, jetpack to the top tier, because that's an, always a good one to have, because then it's basically the same protection as diamond armor, which is 10, in other words. But first, let's have a look at a few things. As, I, as we saw the last time, I'd got a lag problem with the uh, Tinker I.O. stuff, but Tinker I.O. stuff has actually a few more problems than that, so you have to be careful about. And I'll show you what those are now. What they basically are is you attach transfer nodes. So if you attach a transfer node to this smart output, the game can crash with a ticking entity. So basically don't. <laughs> I just use the hopper. Hopper's fine, no problem at all. And the same is true here with the ore crusher. If I attach a transfer node on here, it will crash. But if I move the ore crusher away from everywhere else, it doesn't crash. So it's obviously got something to do with the position or relationship to everything else. I haven't tried it recently because I've since then I've been moved tidying up the base a bit. As you can see, at the back here, I've set up my um, my ore processing to be a little bit better. I've basically got the compactors here with um, filters reinforced filters on those so we just look at this so this is basically taking all iron pieces and only accepting those feeding those into the top of the compactor the, comp the compactor will then take this iron and stick it out the back it should go out the back it doesn't always it takes time but it should never block up let's have a look at this how many have we got now i can't see it 72 i think iron um ores I'll double check that <laughs> iron chunks iron ore chunks that's what they're called now and I've been feeding this with the other bits and pieces so for example here this one's now empty so I can simply remove this one altogether and I get back the uh, chest it removes the lock and I also got back the storage upgrade so let's take the next one of these out of here all I've been using to do that is a transporter diamond chest transporter very cheap six sticks and a diamond well, they're very cheap at the moment anyway so we just put that one side down here on the top of that and then that'll automatically start to extract gold out of here in fact i think copper's also finished let me just have a look it's actually a bit hard what we can do is push put a block of stuff down there if i put, put two and still climb up because i've got the glove on and i've got the boots protect me so yeah Yep, copper's finished, so we can remove the copper one. Let's break that with with an axe. And of course, because I've got the magnet, everything's getting pulled back. And this one's just gone as well, let's get rid of that one. Now empty. So now we can move this one and we'll put it here. And this one and we'll put it here. So they all start to... Actually, this one at the top. Let's put it down there. Even better, put it down on the floor like that. And I remove these two. So that's quite a simple system. I also basically added an extra one of these. I think it's all fine. I think it's all fine. And it does actually go into the wall at the back that the ice does, so you can't see it because it's sort of hidden. The other thing I did, I also moved the power generation. So instead of being where it was, it's now moved it here, so I've got some tanks and some sterling engines on it. These actually produce quite a lot of power, considering 150 RF per tick. This one's actually empty, but I think this will be full. So whatever it's doing, it's keeping up with this one, it seems to be keeping up with it. This one doesn't, they don't seem to be equal. So I think this one will get start to do it when that one's got even running out. But they seem to work fine. I certainly haven't had any power problems so far in this game. So the next thing I'm going to do is tidy up this area as well. And the 
back here I've added two more cloches, I think. Garden cloches I've added. You can't see them very well. This one is um let me have a thing. Redstone and this one is glowstone. Yes. So they're basically now producing redstone and glowstone. I haven't checked this one for a while, it's probably getting a bit full. Ah. Get rid of some of this. You can see I've got some redstone essence in here. It's actually quite good too. It gives you quite a reasonable amount of uh, essence and I also haven't checked in here make sure it's not full up with bits and pieces actually it's got one more water seed you can do rubber seeds dye seeds you know I don't know whether the garden closures actually give us extra seeds that's empty that's good so what I'd like to do let's do this first of all I've also got some Electrum Grit prepared. I'm going to make another seed, uh, another, some more essence. Let's just do that. So I want one, two, three, four of those, plus that one. And then I could just move these across like that. And that'll give me some Prudentium essence. It might be it's a good idea to try and get another one of those. I've got 64, strangely enough. And I need another block, another stack. I think my inventory is a bit full. I forgot in here that I can get rid of. Ah, oh, the redstone. Actually, I was going to share the redstone. Redstone's quite generous, I think, anyway. So, for nine redstone essence, put it into a block like this, we get 16 redstone. Which I think is not too bad at all. Let's go and put the redstone away over here. To after a bit of lag. Like that. So I want to get another... And I've got 8,000 of this. I probably also want to do another. Oops, too much. Let's put one or two of these back. Which I can't do like that, can I? Let's put that away. I know we put that down here, actually. And where are we? That one. Right, that slot. Wait till I bounce, finish bouncing through the doorways. <laughs> Let's do this. Oh, actually, you, I did actually pick up another one of those. It's always fun. I'm hearing the the mobs getting ground all the time. So then we can make some. But oh, what I want, what I want to do is actually make some supreme essence. I think. I've got another stack of this in here. Let's get that other stack out. And that disappeared into here too. In fact, I've got 17 of those. What I'm going to do with this... Actually, can I get rid of that? No, I can't. I think we need to make an ingot of this stuff. No, I'm not sure exactly what I have to do to make an ingot of this. At the moment. Let's look at the uses of that one. I could make a tear. I could make a tear. Insanium essence. I think there's a. I think there's a quest for one of these anyway. Insanium seeds. Tier four. Tier five crafting seeds. This one. Okay, so we need to make. What do we start with? Base essence. Can we do that one? Yes. Okay. Let's go back again. Let's try it the other way around. Let's try the uses of this one. I haven't got enough inferior essence. I don't believe it. Let's go and get some inferior essence out of here. I didn't wait. To I carried on jumping when I was going through there. I don't know how I keep catching this. I just catch the side because the climbing gloves just pushes it on the side. In fact, I picked up two in that particular case. Let's go and see if we can get this one. Um, uses of that one. I think that's what we want. And then the uses of this one. We can make the tables. Yes, then we need to. Oops, haven't I got enough Prudentium essence? Really? Only two left. Ah, okay, because I converted everything else. Um, let's get some more Prudentium 
essence. That one. Because doing this will use everything up, so let's try that again now. Uses this one. That's a bit of a faff actually. Let's do this. I should really have done this off camera, shouldn't I? And the uses of this one, I should be able to do straight away. And the uses of this one. And then the last one, uses of this one, I should be able to get uh, another su superior. This one. And I think we can make a knife blade from that. Actually, well, then let's put the rest of this essence away. I don't need it all with me. Hopefully, I can. Oh, I can't. I actually must be able to. I think that was good. Let's just sort that out. Right, good. So we need to make a knife blade. Let's turn that off. Let's see if this smelt. I think it will do smelt. Yes, it's smelting. Good. So, what are we up to? I need the knife blade cast, which is in there. Let's take that out of there, then. Wrong window. Knife blade. I think the material cost is one. No, it's, uh, obviously it takes quite, these superior ingots take quite a long time to smelt. While that's doing that, maybe I'd wait. Yes, I think I'll wait for it. It won't take a few seconds, will it? And I've still got some inferior essence with me, which I couldn't get rid of. Let's, let's move this out of here. How long is it going to take for the blade? It should be done. All right, good. One. So we should be able to make this now and get one blade. Here we go. Superior knife blade. Now, if we come along here and then put this into this for tool forge. So the current attack damage is 12.91. If I put one of these into it, it does go up to 13 point. What does it say? It becomes prosperous and durite. Okay, that's pretty good. I'll take one of these. I think, do we have a modifier? We still have a modifier on this one. And I've been thinking, well, the only thing I can think of that would actually make any sense would be to put onto it a, um, a necrotic bone. So basically that gives you hearts when you attack somebody else. Most of the time you don't need the hearts because you're safe. And at the moment I've gone up another layer of hearts. I've got to a blue heart. So the next thing we're going to do is to upgrade this jetpack. So let's have a look at this one. So we want basically this setup. So we need some of these. Now, Enderium shouldn't be a problem. Let's go and get that out of this. Let's go and get that out of here. I really should set up a way to get this access to this stuff nearer to me. Don't know how many of these we're gonna need. Let's take three stacks. Let's look at the uses of this one. Okay. That's going to give me 64 ingots, is it? It says 12. That must have been more than 12. Yes, I've got 64 in here. So that I should have enough now to make the jetpack. So let's have a look. I've also got some other bits and pieces prepared for the jetpack. I think they're in here. If I'm not mistaken. I thought I prepared another sort this a bit. Maybe I didn't. All right, we'll start from the beginning. So you need to separate these two. So we get the Invar armor, and then we need to make the next one be the this armor here. So this armor would be Enderium. So 10 blocks with this Invar armor will give us the Enderium. But first we'll make sure we can actually do the jetpack, otherwise I end up with this and them. And I'm messed up so we've got our reinforced jetpack so now we need to make a flux capacitor resident okay so let's start with this one what can we do in here what can't we do so we're no problem no problem no problem constant 
That shouldn't be no problems. We need two of these, I think. Let's go back to that one. And I'm actually going to put on the, uh, some colouring on this one as well. So we need this one. What are we missing? Electron gears. Electron gears sure will be absolutely no problem. I made quite a lot of electron. Just seeing it. So we need 16, don't we? Let's split that into three. My math was working this morning. So we're going to smelt this. Put those into there. I've got four left over, so we put those into there. Come in here, let's get the gear cast out of here. And put the gear, the knife blade back into here. So that should be the only thing that's in here. Good. So we can actually then turn this on. In fact, I don't need to do that. You just right click this. And then it will take out all of the all of the metal that's in here. And with a bit of luck, by the time this comes out, these these four have melted. Good. So we'll end up with our gears straight away. So we've got three, and we should get a fourth gear now. Good. So let's see what we can do. We can make this one. Two of those. I think we need. What are we missing? Bucket. Redstone reception coils. Let's get two of those. And a bucket of red, uh, redstone. Liquid. Uh, where's it gone to? Where's my bucket E? I really could do with two buckets, couldn't I? So let's get... Let's get some redstone out of here. I wonder how much we need. We'll take so we'll take enough. Buckets. You know, I'm probably gonna have to make some more buckets because I keep losing the things. Well, I can't see them in there. They're probably somewhere around. I've got one in here, have I? No. Whatever done with that bucket. I do oh there's one. I do use them fairly often actually. So we need some iron plates to make the next bucket. Have we got any iron plates in here? No, I don't see any. Let's just take out three. Let's actually press those up outside. That's still working. I haven't moved this yet. I plan to move all of this stuff. I've got to be careful because I've got the magnet with me. So when I put the stuff in here like this, it gets pulled to me. So let's just turn this magnet off. Or another thing to do with the magnet, just put it in there. And then that should also work. And they should get pressed into plates, which we should be able to pick up here. I think this is slightly quicker than the other way of doing it. So we've got three plates. Let's just go and craft those. I should bring the crafting table downstairs, shouldn't I? Let's make one. In fact, I don't need to make one. I've got one with me, haven't I? Where is it now? In the form of this. So we can simply put these down here like this. And three pieces of string the second bucket. I think it's four pieces of redstone per magnet crucible, yes I think it's four pieces per bucket. What did I just do? Oh I've got a bucket in there already. Already prepared, what about that then? this is actually speeded up now so it's not going quite so slowly as it was doing 600 oh no we need 10 10 pieces per bucket so we need another 12 don't we I did that funny didn't I never mind so 
There's our thousand. And I'll wait for the other ones. Let's put this back. My inventory's looking a little bit full. Tell you what we'll do. While I'm here, I've put some stuff up here that I made as extras, like an extra compressor. Bit of a shame. And I've got some of these. Let's put those up there for the time being. Let's get those out of the way. So with a bit of looks left finish now. I've got one, yes. Alright, so I've got the two buckets now, that's good. So next thing. We'll need one of these. So we need one of these, one of these, one of these. So we need a lidstone. Got one of those, good. Let's look at the uses of that one. And then the uses of this one. And then the uses of this one. Ah, a signal them I haven't got yet. And neither have I got cryotheum dust. But that's not too difficult. Because we can make bliss powder in two ways. I think we can use the centrifugal. Yeah, thermal. So basically, we need redstone. So we need two and a snowball. Snowballs. Yeah, we've got snowballs. What? If you remember rightly, I got some snowballs by doing the snow in the... We'll actually do two, um, just in case. I'm not sure whether we need two, just one will be fine. So the fluid transposer, we need redstone and snowballs. That's good, we've got that. So we just need four pieces of redstone and two snowballs. will give us two of those. I hope we can do the rest. I didn't check that carefully. So again, let's put those into the Magna Crucible. Let's take this out of there and put the snowballs into there. And as you can see, it's working. It's making something. So we get one blizz powder. This recipe is used quite a lot, in fact, in making blizz powders for snow and redstone. I'm not sure that was a sensible idea to put that back in there, because I'll forget where it is. So, can we make that cryotheum? Hopefully we can. Baruthum, we should be able to make that as well. What are we missing? Snowballs and Nitra. I think I've seen some Nitra. What do we make that from? Nitra or Kill. Yeah, that's great. Pure metal Nitra ore. That's going to help us, is it? I hope I've got some. I'm not sure I've seen any. If I've got any, it'll be in here. It'll either be in here. Do you know, I don't think I've got any nitro ore. I'm sure I did get some as a reward from something or other, like, or maybe in a loot chest. Well, I'm stuck then, aren't I? Let's just have a look, make sure I've got... What's this one? Sugar. Bit of an odd place to keep sugar. What have I got in here? Anything interesting? Nitro 1. I think that was a reward. So let's see if we can carry let's see if we can do this anyway. So we need this one, don't we? I'm not sure I've actually you know, I'm not sure I've actually made the next level up. So we get two. I think that's what we need.
So what do we need? Sulfur, coal dust, redstone and that. Very easy, we got two of those. Actually, what level of jetpack have I got? I've got reinforced jetpack. Okay, good. So the next thing I need to make is some signal them. So let's have a look at doing that then. Cool. Signal them. Can we do, have we done this? Oh, we can do this one. Let's get that one done. Because it was the other thing I had got stuck on, wasn't it? So that, that, that'll be no problem. So the only thing we're missing is this one. So the only thing we're missing is this. So we need some signal. Now that comes from signal and blend, which we shall do in the induction smelter. Signal and blend and, okay, that shouldn't be too difficult. Signal and blend is what? Copper, silver, and destabilized redstone. Should be no problem. Let's do that twice. So that was six copper, wasn't it? Three copper for that, and I want to make another one, and then we can make a seed out of those. And then we want uh, two silver, wasn't it? Then we need some redstone, so we need half of those, because it was ten per bucket, wasn't it? So let's go and get this this sorted out first of all. In fact, I've probably got the buckets back now. Because this is the bit that takes the slowest time, I think. I don't know what's happened to me, but it's probably ended up in that chest. So we'll put some of the silver, we'll put the silver in here, and we'll put the copper in here. So we should get some signal and blend. Well, I was a bit lucky with the nitro, I must be honest, I didn't expect that. This was making some pulverizer. I want to make some flux electrum, is the next thing on my list. So we've got those two. So what we can start doing is we can make this, there's bound to be one of these will be finished. So let's make that with this device here. So we've got three of those, where's a couple gone to? I didn't take it out, did I? Um, try again, right click this one. That was a right drag, if anybody wants to know what I did there. I should make four of those. Let's remove the bucket, bucket away, let's get the bucket back again. Right, the right thing. Let's put that into there. And let's do that again. Now I can just right click this and then do the recipe of this one. And right, click it in and then we can get through the fall like that. Take the bucket out of there so it doesn't fly away again. So I think we have everything we need. The only thing we need to now is, is to smelt this. So where is this? It's here, isn't it? And I needed some hellfire ingots strange you know when i started i reckon we wouldn't need any more hellfire ingots so we need i think we'll take half of those that'll give me four hellfire ingots might have some already made i don't think i have and these go in the stoked crucible don't they i'm not 100 percent sure about that nope they go in the ordinary Ooh. Oh, yeah, they go in here, right? So that'll start to make those up. So we need a lot of those four, I think. How does it use each time? You know, let's look at the uses of that one. I've forgotten. Oh, we need eight. So that'll give me four. I need actually have sixty-four to get that to all four ingots. There's probably another way to do this. I saw some other recipes. Let's have a look. Well, it's a really good use of these, this hellfire dust, because there's not that much you can do with hellfire dust. Except for put it into here. It seems to be the best use of it that we've got. So we've got our first one. So let's have a look. Probably a bit of a waste of time, isn't it? Let's just get it in here anyway. Let's get one of these fired up. Oh, 
Oh, of course, I've taken rich slag out. Let me just double check the recipe for this again. Oh, I've got a quest. What level are these? Tier... Tier 4? Actually, that's not too difficult. Seed reprocessor. I didn't... I got to this one. Used to that recipe for this one. What else can we do here? Stroked... Stoked crucible. Signal them nuggets. Brilliant. So, I think... Compact... I don't know. Art furnace is the only other way to do it. And that's a very big machine. So I think I'm stuck. <laughs> oh, but we get some slag out of this if we're lucky. So we've got to do it that way. So I reckon I'm going to make seeds out of these and do it that way. So let's get on it. It's a tier 4 seed, wasn't it? Let's have a look what we've got in here for seeds. Inferior tier 4 base crafting seed. I think that's it, isn't it? Okay, let's get the uses of this one going. Um, signal them. Signal them, see, good. So we need to make, go right down to the bottom here. Should be able to make one of those. Do the uses. Oops. And that's tier three, so we need one more of those. So all we now need is four signal ingots. We can do that. And I think that's probably going to be the best way to do this, because it's something that we're going to use a, a reasonable amount of if we're doing any thermal foundation stuff at all. So with a bit of that, those will have, will have got four ingots worth of hellfire dust. Oh, yes we have, good enough anyway. Oh, I forgot the fifth one now. Which of course means I should be making another garden cloche. Let's put it in here. That's nice and fast, isn't it? So now we've got the four, we can make a seed. And I'll probably replace the one with the what I've got. Let's have a look at this now. Uh, the uses of that one, no, the uses of this one. Let's look at the uses of this one. So there shouldn't be too many uses. In fact, there's this one. So we now have got our signal and seed. These are the best things to use the seeds for anyway, aren't they? Because they're complicated and take quite a lot of time. And to even produce, so let's come over here and get this into the into one of these closures. I'm not sure which one I want to do it in. What have we got in here? Inferium tier 4 seed. I would like to upgrade that to an inferior tier. Black quartz. Let's put it in the black quartz one here. So then we'll get some, in here we'll eventually get some essence for that. So let's go and put, I should keep these seeds somewhere else, shouldn't I? Let's put the seed in here with the other seeds. In fact, I can easily put this down now. Let's go and do that. And then we'll get some more seeds. Whether we need more seeds or not, I don't know. What I have to do is pause this. Unlock it and put this one into here, lock it up again and then unpause it. And that'll produce some more rub uh, black quartz seeds if we ever need them again. That was clever. <laughs> I don't care about that one. I jumped on it. Now, let me just double check this recipe before I... Where's it gone to? Jetpacks. This one. We need to make this one. So we need, just need two ingots. We can do that. 
and then we still have two hellfire dust in case we need to do that again. Probably do need to do that again. I think I've got one. Yes, I've got four ingots in this. Well, I'll save two. Just walking around, isn't I? Leave those in there like that. I'm, actually, I should probably make some more Soul Forge deal anyway. I'll do that off camera between episodes. So now we should be able to complete this, I think. Yep. So now can we actually make this jetpack? We can indeed. How much power does that have? <laughs> Twenty million RF. Okay, let's get this start. To get this charged up. While that's doing that, we're gonna we're gonna make the um, armor for it. This is something I really do want to move as well. So that's gonna take a long time, but we'll leave it. We can fly with it. It's going to be quite good. I also want to combine that with something else. So let's have a look at that one again. So you can combine it with different types of particles. And the one I want to combine it is something like this. What's this one? Can we do that? We can indeed. The reason I want to do that is that the standard yellow one is distracting. You can't see the embers. So I'm just putting another particle eyes. And maybe there's actually another one we could even use that's actually completely... Uh, not in use. What am I going to do with this stuff to put these things into here? Because I don't use those so often. I bet we can make some seeds out of those as well. Um, maybe we can't. Let's put this one in here. So we know where those are. Let's put that away. In fact, I've got something in here I don't want either, so let's put that up there. So now when I combine that, I should get sort of a black one. Um, so we need to do the armour, so we need 10 enderium ingots, we got 12, good, on me, and the ship here will be some in here, let's just get those two out, so we can just combine these two together now, and we should be able to make our top tier jetpack, it's an induction smelter isn't it, so I need to take these two out of here, put that and that in. Where's it gone to those two? They don't take too long. Let's remove the slag. We don't need the slag in there. Got slag and rich slag. Quite like using the induction smelter. Now let's see if we can go and enchant this stuff as well. I've got some. I've been keeping some stuff around. So those aren't too much. Those are it all come from weapons, but the armor stuff, I saw something that was quite good. And I think it was protection for unbreaking three, magnet three. Let's take those. Let's make sure we've got some books. Can get rid of that? I can. I've already got books downstairs. I've got, certainly got leather downstairs. I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll make five books. You see, I filled in this doorway. <laughs> well, half filled it in. And the reason I'm doing it this way, I've got 19 books in there. I don't think we need unbreaking. Because when I looked at this last, I came along here, and I wanted to enchant this. You put it in here, you don't get anything on here, so you can't enchant it that way. So, I, but you, you can enchant it. Well, Bob the Big Bat said you can enchant it, but he couldn't get the enchants off. So maybe if we do it this way, what do we want? Protection 4. It's not working. Now, do I have to combine this with the armour to do the 
Let's try that. Actually, to be honest with you, I'm not exactly sure which bit I need to, I need to enchant. Yes, it's going to take a long time before I get some 20 million. But most of that charging I'll be doing off camera anyway. Let's put this into here. See, again, you don't get anything in here. So let's combine those two together. Let's put, actually, let's put this with the smoke particles. And then let's combine this with this. And I should be able to get some armor. Now, can I enchant this? I can't. Let's try on here. Indeed, we can enchant it when it's combined in the table. So let's do that one. What was the other one? I'm breaking. No, it doesn't make sense. Magnet. Oh, I can do magnet. So now we have nine and a bit, because the only reason I've got a bit is because I've got um, these slime boots on, which don't have any protection. What I would actually like to do is to get some feather falling boots. So what I've been doing to, in order to get that, let's go into the right room, is in here I've been I'm recycling this stuff across, but this time I'm actually checking it. I've increased the size of this thing. So we've got some boots. So sometimes you do get, but rarely, quite rarely actually, we get some boots. Now these combustible cod, I don't think we can do anything with the uses of that. They don't have any. So that was one of the things I wanted to do. Whether I want to enchant this more, I don't know. So what I do is just check the stuff in here. Is there anything special that we actually would like to get? At the moment, well, maybe there's an interesting boat. If we got an infinity bow, that wouldn't be too bad. Power two, maybe that's worth keeping. Smite three. Sharpness four, that's actually a good one. Let's take that out of there. Another sharpness four, because then we can get, we can make a sharpness five, which I think I've already put onto this. Oh, I've got smite five. I'd have to take it off and put sharpness on, which is what I was thinking of doing. So I'm sort of gone through those, not the rest of it we can just dump. So I'll just turn this one off, I'll turn this one on, and it'll slowly empty these out like that. And the ones I want to keep, I just come along in here and put them into here like this. Uh, that's my legendary. Oh, and I have found out. Yours, this one's legendary. And it says experience. So if we go and kill a few mobs with this, let's go and do that. It's got smite on it. Just as a... That's a bit of fun. If I go down there. Wait a bit. Oh. If I go in that, they're a bit fast. All right. All right, good. Well, I'm up there. I get a bit cross, but that's alright. What I was doing with this one? Oh, I've just brushed the top. <laughs> Done that a second time now. I knocked off the torch. You can also test this out now. While I'm here, can't I? Let's get this. Have lap mobs around. Right there, there. It's got a sweeping edge on it. So it's, which gives them this multiple hit business. So if I can put that back in again, I've probably got. It's probably down here. Yeah. So I got some mob chunks from that. Let's put that in there. Like that. Actually, let's just turn this. Oh, I've got some. So I want to get this, put this back again, and the easiest way to do it is because just wait for the mobs to go. Like that. The negative thing about that, 
Oh, there's a blight there, mob there. What's that one? Let's just take these out of here. As it fills up that inventory very fast. Oh, that was fast. <laughs> what did I do there? Oh, so it's just a zombie pigman. Let's kind of look at his health. He'll have enormous health. 94. Oh, it's not so bad, actually. Let's, uh, let's go. Give it. Oh, all right. Some magic one there. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm getting thrown around. So what I should do now is go away, but I don't like it anyway. Some more magical oops. One. How's he got it? How can he see me anyway? It's a blight zombie pigment. And you see my health doesn't go down because I've got this nice well, it goes down a bit, but not very much. How much else? Got 153. Okay. I'm being quiet. <laughs> get from him. Nothing exciting unfortunately. But there we are. I actually don't know how he got out of there. I think he just spawned out of there, didn't he? So that's that. I'm out of here. Done enough damage. Increase my they run out of food a bit. Let's go up here. Like that. I'm back into base. Must have pressed that twice. So we've got our seed. We've got these. Let's look at this one. Use it. Oh, I'll tell you what I should do. Use it that. Yeah, that'll do fine. So now we've got some signal of ingots, which I've got no space for. But we can put this into one of these here. And then we should start to get some signal them coming through. Let's put it into this one. Like that. And that'll keep this clear. So we've just got these mob, mob chunks now. I've got no space for these. <laughs> I'll come and do that later on. I think that's my armour, isn't it? I probably don't need that with me. But I'm going to put it away anyway. This time. So next time, what I'd like to do is... Well, I think maybe we... I won't have time. Maybe I will, actually. Um... To go and do the the treasure, the maze, and at the end of the treasure hunt, because that's what we're I'm preparing for. I'm just thinking what I would like to do in terms of weapons or anything else that I should take with me. If anybody's got any ideas, just let me know. And so, until next time, I'm going to say bye for now. <laughs>